Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amberine and today I have my February favourites for you. I swear to God, I always have to think twice every time I do one of these videos because I'm just like, what month am I doing my favourites for? Because the months just fly by too fast, don't they? And I say that literally like in all of my favourites videos. Okay, I've got all my favourites in this basket. So if you would like to see my favourites, then just keep on watching and I hope you enjoy it. So I'm just going to pick anything at random and I am going to give you a disclaimer right now. Not all of these are beauty favourites. So let's jump in. So the first one is this thing. You know what this thing is? Body spray. This is the Garnier Mineral Ultra Dry Ultimate Protection 48 Hour Non-Stop Body Spray. What else? How many words are there for body spray? I like to say body spray, deodorant. Body spray. Do you know any other ones? Okay, this is the only, and this has no no alcohol and no parabens, uh, antiperspirant, there's another one. <laughs> so this is the Skin Breathes one. All I know is the one that's like a turquoise green uh, top and it has a purple writing. This is one of my favourite ones. I don't think the other ones work for me. I love the scent of this one and you get 250 mils. Did I say it was Garnier? Yes, I think I did. Um, but basically, I'm having a lot of trouble finding a deodorant that works and doesn't make me smell. Like, you know, those deodorants that, um, like, they spray on nicely and they smell nice, but throughout the day, like, your body odour and the spray mixes in and it makes that disgusting, ugly smell. But basically, I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm a very sweaty person. This, I'm not sure if it helps me completely with, um, like stopping me from sweating or preventing me from sweating but it helps me from stopping smelling like i'm sweating you know what i mean well yeah this is the only body spray that i can use and i can't find any other one that's just just as good as this so yeah this has been my favorite for months and months and months and i have numerous backups of this so yeah that's one of my favorites okay, the next favorite is my beloved kobo e-reader this is the one that i have I swear I used to think these were going to be much bigger. I was, I so badly wanted to get a Kindle because the Kindle was like the main guy, the main guy, the main e-reader that came out at, in the beginning. And I used to be one of those girls that used to say that, no way am I getting an e-reader, I'll stick to my books. But now that I have a whole load of books in my room and honestly I can't get rid of them, um... I regret actually having so many books so I've got this and I take this with me all the time when I'm going to work because work is like 40 minute it's a 40 minute walk so I'll just read um, and I take this with me all the time it's better than taking a book and I'll use this to read my books and I've been using it a lot and the book that I'm reading is Jude the Obscure by Thomas Hardy I really love my classic books and so far the books are right I loved it in the beginning a lot but I'm not sure how I feel about it now. There's a character in there which I really, really hate. And she's completely putting me off, that's why. But I'm glad, I hope I'm going to finish that book soon enough. And I will jump onto another book. And what I basically do is I load all my books onto this. I don't actually buy any. And if you just look up, because I read mainly classics. If you just re read, uh, look up um, classics on Google, you'll find there's a lot of... Uh, free classic books that you can put onto your e-reader and one that comes to mind is Gutenberg I think it's Gutenberg okay so that's been my favorite it's simple and it has internet just like but it's not very advanced internet and I love reading my books on there next thing that is my favorite is this I forgot how much I loved it this is the P Pilaten Hydra I think this is Chinese um, suction black mask and there was a lot of hype about this and how amazing it is and I thought I'd try it out and I have been using this a while it's a 60 gram one I have been using this for a while like I used to use it every week but then I stopped using it because uh, I didn't think that I didn't need to use it as much but then I used it on Saturday I think I used it on Saturday night and what you do is you put this on to the areas where you have blocked pores and stuff like that so I just put it on my nose my forehead and my chin and then you leave it on for about 20 minutes and then you peel it off and I forgot how much I love this not only does it like get rid of the pores but it gets rid of those those tiny little hairs that you have like some people are like why would you want to get rid of them 
they're just gonna grow back long but they don't actually and I really love this because it just makes my skin look a lot clearer especially on my nose I, sh I was completely shocked at how much it cleared up my nose area and because I wear a nose a nose stud and I don't take it out as much I get a whole load of pores around here um, and this pulled them all right out okay the next favorite is this but i forgot how much i loved this i rediscovered this as well this is the nyc shine in a minute uh 60 second dry nail polish and this is the shade upper east side 103 and i forgot how much i loved this it is such an elegant nude pink type shade if you can see and i just love this this kind of reminds me of like um you know wood paint um, it's not the smell that reminds me of wood paint it's how you put it on when you put it on and you know when you get those annoying lines from the brush uh, but basically when you apply this nail polish on when you get those lines they actually like blend into the nail polish and you can't even see any of the lines then like I don't know how you explain it but it just makes it a lot easier to apply my next favorite is a combination it's of these two mascaras the last sensational lash multiplying mascara which i did a review on i'll link it below and the scandalized retro glam i by rimmel and i absolutely hated this mascara because it's very clumpy and the brush is absolutely humongous but it turns out that because i need to use this up it turns out i like layering this on top of this because this takes a long time to layer up so what i'll do is i'll put a layer of this on and this like lengthens and separates my lashes and then i'll put this on and this gives me the volume so i love this combination because favorite is again a rediscovery why why are all these rediscoveries okay this is the innisfree no sebum mineral powder um it says it's a jeju natural mineral and natural or originated originated mint can i even read today with jeju natural mineral and natural originated mint and this is the powder that's in translucent well it's a translucent powder if I can show you this is like this reminds me a lot of the elf powder you know the HD one but that one for some reason I think it's gone all clumpy or something like because I get like little tiny white dots all over my face when I use that so I've started using this and I really really love it it's translucent and it sets everything in place and there's no like color in the powder Yay, transparent. Um, I meant to say this is a transparent powder um, and I really really love it a lot it's a Korean brand and I think it's a hype over there it's a must-have over there so I love that and then there's this Avon quad in um, go natural and it looks like that and the only reason I love this palette is for that orange shade I'm really into these orangey like ready type shades uh, warmer shades basically and I love using that or putting it all over my lids and the reason why I actually bought this palette was for that color because I don't have a color like that this one is the NYX butter gloss in uh, for the BLG 15 wait angel food cake and this is the only NYX product that I have. I bought this at the NYX sales about two years ago, a year ago. And I love this a lot because it is so incredibly moisturizing. It is sticky. I don't know who ever told me that these lip glosses are not sticky. They are sticky, but they're like a nice, like smooth sticky. And um, like you are gonna get your hair caught in it. But I love using this for the days where I have really really dry lips and recently I've been wearing a lot of liquid lipsticks on so um, it has completely dried my my lips out so I've been using this and this has been helping to hydrate my lips and this is the classic Carmax and again this is a moisturizing lip balm and I have been using this for my dry lips and I the thing that I love the most about this I'm not there when I um, wake up in the morning because most lip balms they just disappeared when I wake up in the morning this is still there uh, what I love about it it has this cooling sensation to it which I really really love so that's been one of my other favorites and then finally I have these three lip liners 
Okay, so the first one is the Essence Lip Liner in Soft Berry, as you can see. This has been one of my favorite lip liners because this has been like my everyday lip liner that I've been wearing for the past month. And um, But today I've got something different on. I did wear it on in the morning, so that has been my favorite. I love these. They're creamy and they stay on for a really long time. And I found something that's similar, and they're only a pound. I found another lip liner that's a pound, lip liners, that are a pound. And these are the Primark ones. And I have the shades brown and pink. And these are not as moisturizing or creamy as the NYX, as the Essence ones. But these are like my second, just as good, cheaper alternative lip liners basically. So I've been loving these and today I'm wearing the brown one on. And these are just simple and I just love wearing them. And... That is what they look like. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and share it with anybody who would possibly like these favourites. And leave your favourites down below so I could check them out and see if they will become my favourites. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next time. In my next time? What? What? Okay, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.